Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to News Malaysia. Today our documentary report is about Wawasan Duapulu Duapulu as known as Vision 2020 of Malaysia. Actually, Wawasan 2020 or Vision 2020 is a Malaysian ideal introduced by the former Prime Minister of Malaysia, Mahathir bin Muhammad, during the tabling of the 6th Malaysia Plan in Kuala Lumpur on 28 February 1991. The vision calls for the nation to achieve a self-sufficient industrialized nation by the year 2020, encompasses all aspects of life from economic prosperity, social well-being, educational world-class, political stability, as well as psychological balance. Wawasan Duapulu Duapulu is also the title of an article by William Greeder about globalization in Malaysia. As long as we know, Wawasan Duapulu Duapulu is complemented by nine challenges. And also we know that the duration is going to finish after three years and Malaysia almost gained their challenges. Let's see the report about the challenges of Vision 2020 as well as the progress and that are reported by Raki Hassan and Pahal. Hello viewers, welcome to News Malaysia. Now I'm gonna talk to you about the Vision 2020 taken by Malaysian government in 1991. Now let's see those nine challenges of Vision 2020 and see the progression. Okay, the first challenge of new, uh, Vision 2020 is to create a Malaysian nation that is united with a common objective. First of all, to achieve a goal, become a developed country, become an example for the world. Uh, a nation's government first target is to become unity, make unity amongst their people. So that's why Malaysian government has taken initial step to make Malaysia to Satumangsa Malaysia. The second challenge of Vision 2020 was to create a society that's free, peaceful, advanced, confident of its own capabilities, and successfully proud and is strong in facing problems. This challenge of Vision 2020 was begun with introducing a slogan, Malaysia can do it, to increase people's self-belief and abilities. As per report from UNESCO, the literacy rate has grown from 70% in 1985 to 94.6% in 2015. Adding that, Malaysian government had also shown necessity of women education because women literacy rate is as same as men. After that, the third challenge is to make a democratic society that's mature and practice a shared philosophy. Malaysia is already a democratic country. General election holds in every five years. People can vote and choose their own representative and people can also sound and assemble for their rights. Uh, anyone who is qualified enough can uh, join politics and organization for the welfare of Malaysia. Okay, then the fourth challenge is to create a fully moral and ethical society whose citizens are strong in religious and spiritual values. Before institutional education, a children must learn moral and ethical values. Parents are also aware of giving their children the kind of behavioral knowledge towards the society. Maybe that's why this, with this kind of knowledge, the people of Malaysia from different backgrounds can practice their religious curriculum without interfering into the others. Malaysian people are also satisfied with the government because they built such a lot of mosques, temple, and pagoda for different religious people. Now the fifth challenge of Vision 2020 is to create a mature, liberal and tolerant society. As you know, in Malaysia, there are mixed religion, race and caste. In some parts of the world, it can be an obstacle, but in Malaysia it didn't happen. Rather than the Malaysian government took the initiative to make a mature society, that's why the people of Malaysia has a unity between them. The people are Malaysia are liberal towards their nation and they have shown their willingness towards the prosperity of Malaysia. Now I'm going to hand over our reporter Tahmid. He will describe the rest of the challenge of Vision 2020 and the progression of the, that challenges. I'm Raki Bassan, News Malaysia, Terimagas. Six challenges to create a scientific and progressive society far-sighted and forward-looking and is thus able to improving civilization based on science and technology. 
2002, Malaysian National Space Agency was formed to deal with all the activities of Malaysia in space and to promote space education and space experiment. The Razaksat, a remote sensing satellite, was launched on 14th July 2009. It was a great achievement. Most of the education system in Malaysia is based on advanced science and technology. They used that technology to build their own motor company like Proton and Peridua. The seven challenges to create a caring society and practice caring culture. Various organizations like UNICEF Malaysia, Mercy Malaysia, NKF has provided humanitarian assistance to beneficiaries. Mercy Malaysia also extended their helping hands to countries like Syria, Palestine, Philippines and more other countries which are under conflict. The government has taken initiative to ease burden to low-income groups. This is implemented by BR1M policy. The eight challenges to create a society that is fair in income distribution regardless of race. The objective of income redistribution is to increase economic stability and give opportunity to the less wealthy members of the society. The Malaysian government system includes people from all backgrounds working together. Students across the country face no discrimination and racism. The ninth challenge is to create a prosperous society with a competitive economy. Malaysia has one of the fastest growing economy in Asia. Its GDP per capita has increased from 10,500 annually on an average of 6.5% from 1957 to 2010. Okay, now we're going to take an interview with Mr. Irvi Julfikar, Head of Program, Department of Automotive Technology, IUKL Malaysia. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to uh, News Malaysia. Uh, I'm Muhammad Sharipul Islam. Uh, today we are going to take an interview with uh, Mr. Irvi Julfikar, Head of Program, Department of Automotive uh, Technology, IUKL Malaysia. Okay, sir. Uh, so I, at first I want to know, as we know, Malaysia is a developing country, even they are ranked in education, even in tourism. So, sir, do you think Vision 2020 took the main, uh, took the main role to get Malaysia as a developing country? Um, yes, I believe so. Because I believe that um, at one point, uh, Malaysia opened the door for foreign investors uh, to open their plant in Malaysia. And um, that also triggered Malaysians to be more hard work. Right? and to find um, better economic ways in order to upgrade the families, um, um, the whole economy of the family in Malaysia. Mm, that's all. Oh, okay, sir. I'm going to the second question. Uh, as you know, ma, in Vision 2020 uh, of Malaysia, uh, they have got uh, nine challenges. Yeah. So, do you think all challenges already achieved by the government of Malaysia? Um, to be frank, at this point, 
I still believe that it is not achieved, it is not overcome yet. Um, and the most part of it is um, economic unjust, right? I would say um, there are still um, people being left out, and and this is uh, mainly due to, um, for example, is unstable inflation rate, as well as um, unstable. There is no um, standard of, um, for example, uh, stairs of income for every, for, um, for example, um, achievement in terms of education, for example, right? Uh, the only thing that we have is um, minimum wage, right? Minimum wage that I believe was announced a few years back. But up until today, there is no guide, specific guideline for, for example, uh, or it become a policy, for example, fresh graduate of diploma or fresh graduate of a bachelor degree or master and PhD and so on. Uh, it is always based on the hiring companies. Okay, thank you to view it in uh, News Malaysia. Okay. All right, Aslam. thank you. In the context of Malaysia, participation from all races is indeed an important contributory factor to national development. This phrase shows the spirit of the citizens. Tolerance, solidarity, compromise, cooperation, readiness to learn from the past experience, sensitivity as well as respect for past history are catalysts to successful development based on a philosophy of prosperity through distribution of wealth for the attainment of a united Malaysian development nation. Let's enjoy the song for Wawasan Duapulu Duapulu. Angkasa lambang negara gagah, rakyat sepakat sehati sejiwa tekad berbakti dengan megah. Hadapi cabaran masa buka penuh tenaga muni, bakti di curah searah sehala. Dengan wawasan yang suci, wawasan meningkat kemajuan, cara lagi kepincangan, kemewahan rasa dirasai bersama kita nikmati. Wawasan dua puluh dua puluh satu pandangan jauh. Bukan impian malah kenyataan bersama kita jayakan. 